Right, so my review of the Newcastle United one, Chelsea nil. I couldn't do it last night. I was too annoyed, too upset um, with the result. Um, with some of our fans on social media, with everything really. So uh, I decided uh, the plan of action was to have a few beers and mull it over with some friends and then in my head and uh, and then do this one for the two or three of you that, that, that like these videos and tell me so. Um, right, where do I start? The thing that disappointed me the most about yesterday wasn't the result. I was disappointed in the result, don't get me wrong, um, but Newcastle defended, I mean, what we've got to do is give praise where praise is due, and Newcastle defended like you wouldn't believe. They they, they were world class in defence yesterday, um, they stuck to it, they stuck to it for 90 minutes, which I didn't think they would do, and... Um, and then we got beat by a, a sucker punch because all season we've uh, we've not been able to to mark from set pieces. I know that was technically a, a cross that that came in. Rudiger was getting lots of stick. Rudiger actually went with his man, and I've watched it five or six times now. And it's actually Emerson that leaves his man, and when the guy puts the ball in, Emerson's three or four yards, three or four yards behind him um, you can only work on that on the training ground so much and then if you've got players who ball watch and really since the days of Terry and well yeah Terry and, and Cahill didn't do it too much you know Terry very rarely did it all players do it all players ball watch but with John Terry, it might have happened once a season. Kale, it might have happened three times a season. David Lewis, probably ten times a season. And young Emerson, and I know he's still learning, probably um, once a match, twice a match sometimes. So there's a difference in class. And this is something I'm going to get on to. Yeah, what I was most disappointed with yesterday and I everyone who knows me I'm a massive Frank Lampard fan um, I'm glad he's our manager I think he'll grow into a great manager he was one of the greatest players to ever play for the club but yesterday's post-match press conference I was personally worried because hopefully Frank was protecting the players. But if he genuinely, and I mean genuinely, watched that game and thought we performed well, then I'm worried. Not, not worried enough to start saying, oh, Lampard out, uh, start slagging him. But he definitely, and it must be me, because I haven't, you know, I've been on the A for B course, but I haven't got all my uh, your A for A badge and all that. But we're watching a totally different game. Totally different game. Because I thought yesterday, almost to the man, and I'll give the exceptions of Rhys James before he got injured, I thought he was outstanding again. Got done a couple of times, but by a geezer with real pace. But overall, our best attacking threat and good defensively. Rhys James, and I thought Kante, he's still getting stick. He's coming back from injury, but you know what? Yesterday he was everywhere. Sometimes he was overrun. Sometimes he was left with two men. Sometimes he had to commit a foul to stop him because he was being overrun. But I thought Kante was, was back yesterday. It was nice to see. Um, now, our main problem is, for the last three or four seasons, since the drugs retired and most of the core, since Lamps went, 
We have had a big, big get out of jail card in Eden Hazard. We had teams that would come to the bridge. We had teams away who would have this low block and not move from it. And one or two bits of magic from the little wizard himself would open them up. And games like yesterday, we're the one, two, one. I've got a draw on one, one, nil. You know, we, we, he was such, such a talent that he could do that. I think the only person in our side who looks like doing that at the moment is injured. That's Pulisic. Um, we've got to realise that since Terry Lampard, Drogs and everyone retired, we have not got the quality. Some of those players were world class. Certainly Terry, Lampard and Drogba were world class. I remember a time when we had people like Mike, Michael Ballack on the substitutes bench. That shows you've got a world class side. They're not, not every player world class, but a very, very, very good side. We haven't got that at the moment. We've got some very good youngsters who may achieve that one day. The stick makes some mounts getting is ridiculous. He's a young lad who has had three or four excellent games. He's playing in a higher league for the first time. Faster pace. Physicality is times five. He's getting stick from Chelsea supporters. You're not a supporter. You can have an opinion. You can say he ain't playing that well. But I just don't understand it. He had a lousy game yesterday. I'm not going to beat about the bush. But am I going to go on social media and start giving him stick? Get rid of him? Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not. I'm going to say he's a young lad. I've seen him play brilliantly this season. Um, yesterday, he made lots of wrong choices, but he was one of many. So we, we haven't got that world-class quality. The only person in our side, I would say, is genuinely world-class when he's playing at his best, not coming back from injury, is Nicola Canto. Genuinely world-class. I wouldn't sell him in the summer, like I've seen some people say. Keep him, certainly for another year, while while the youngsters are, are coming through. And hopefully, someone will come through that can, can play like that, or we'll sign someone a lot younger. But at the moment, keep him. I don't think you realise, like with Hazard, until you lose these special players, you don't really realise what you had. And these people for calling for Kante to be sold, got no words really, got no words. Um, so yeah, we haven't got that quality and we've got to realise that. And these people that I call expectors, not supporters, who go on social media after they just finished playing FIFA and, uh, and slag everyone off, has got to realise that. Frank Lampard is not working with the same sort of squad that Mourinho, um, Ancelotti, or even um, Conte was working with. And it makes you realise what a decent job Sarri did. So, lots of youngsters learning. Tammy Abrams is not Didier Drogba yet. He might be one day. His goal scoring is good this year, but he's not making the runs that Drogs did to um, take players with him to create space. He's not doing it. Um, a lot of players like that aren't doing it. You know, those that watch these videos, I'm a big fan of Willie, and I think he gets a lot of unfair stick, but yesterday... I thought was one of his worst games in a long time. It was like the William of last season. Um, he should 
be moving a lot more off the ball. That said, he was having to come back a fair bit. You know, because we're playing Dave at left back, Williams coming back sometimes past Dave to do defensive duties. So I can't give him total stick. What he should be doing is taking players off the ball in forward positions. He didn't do that yesterday, and we get back. We also got back to this hitting the first man which I don't understand, because he's more than capable of not doing that. In fact, a lot of our players were doing that yesterday. I love Dave. I love Aspilicueta. You know that. Um, but he's lost a yard. He has lost a yard, and that yard is vital. So I think, sorry Dave, you've been a great servant, and I would never ever slag you off, but the way Frank wants to play, you're not fitting in there. Right, so let's have a look see what we have got. We've got a goalkeeper, Kepper. Uh, people were saying that he should have saved the goal. Well, there are keepers that would have saved that goal. He got pretty near to saving it, but I don't think we appreciate just how close uh, the forward was to the goal. You know, it took some uh, took some reflexes. But yeah, there are goalkeepers that would have saved it. I would have bet on Czech saving it. I would have bet on Peter Bonetti saving it. Because he had the reflexes. Kepa, to me, is not a £70 million goalkeeper. But that isn't his fault. That's down to the club. They had their hands tied behind their back with the snake, Courtois, um, just wanting away. And they're not coming back to the club. But that's down to Courtois. So the club have gone out. There's, equal, there's players they could have played 20 million for. Nick Pope from Burnley, I know he had a howler against us, but... On a whole, he plays really, really well. There's a few goalkeepers out there. Even Ben Foster down at Watford. You know, I, I rate him higher than I do Kepper. I've got to be honest. I was always taught, both as a player and when I was coaching, that goalkeepers should command their six-yard box. That ball yesterday was half a yard, yard outside the six-yard box. And I'll tell you now, Goalkeepers of old, Peter Bonetti, Pat Jennings, Pat Jennings, I've seen him come to the the, um, the penalty spot to take a ball in the air. Big commanding keeper. Um, kept us not in that class. He has made world-class saves, I'll give him that, but he's not in that class. So it's unfair of us, I think, to get on his back and start saying he should be making them sort of save because goalkeepers shouldn't be making saves from a yard and a half out but maybe they should be coming to, to meet balls when they're seven yards out I don't know I don't know but we shouldn't really have a go at the lad it's not his fault that we paid a stupid amount of money for him and then when you watch Liverpool's goalkeeper and think crikey that's a goalkeeper so Kepa, now don't get me wrong, nothing to say he won't be world class. He's got all the attributes, we've seen some of the saves. If you can do it once, you can do it time and time again. Rhys James, I think he will be world class. He certainly rammed it right up me because I was saying, well how can you tell a player that's only played championship football is going to be anything? Boy is. And if he's out injured, I'd stick Lamptey in there because he's going to be right up there as well. Um, Dave, I've already said, sorry Dave, I think you passed it. And Emerson, I think you've had a few chances, a few runs. You're 24. I, would, well, I remember when Ashley Cole was 24. He was the bee's knees. So we're judging you against, again, world class. So perhaps we're being unfair, but you should be getting a nod over um, Aspie, in my humble opinion. And I don't see you every day 
the week. So I do trust in Frank. But I think if if Frank's watching Emerson and he's watching Aspie and he's coming to the conclusion that Aspie is a better left back when we're playing the sort of forward pressing game attacking down the, the wings that Frank wants to play then that means that Emerson isn't good enough if I trust in Frank centre-halves Rudiger he done okay the poor bloke got blamed for the goal it wasn't his fault he went up with his man Emerson's man running behind him um, but Rudiger is no Carvalho he's no Desaia he's no Gallus Certainly no John Terry. I don't even think he's a Gary Cahill in his pomp. And we're respecting... He has, we have improved since he's been back. We have improved since. And I'll tell you what, the bloke gives 110%, so I'm not going to be slagging him. Christensen's too lightweight. Simple as. Too lightweight and ball watches. Yeah, he might get better. But I'm just telling you what I see at the moment. I would play, and I'm not a fan of Zuma, I'm not a fan of Zuma, I'm a fan of his mentality, I'm a fan of um, his workload, of his ethic, I'm a fan of Zuma, not a fan of his passing, um, not a fan of his awareness, but I'll tell you what, the bloke gives 110%, and yesterday, had he been playing, that goal might have been stopped. So until we get a top, top, top class centre back, um, um, was it Kulabai? I think that's the way you say it, or someone like that. Um, I would stick with Zuma. Or what, why is Tamore not playing? Um, I don't know. In the middle of the field, Jorginho. Yeah, I rate Jorginho, but yesterday a lot of his passes were were going straight to them for some reason. Um, mainly because people aren't running off the ball, they can't. They, he hasn't got that many options, so he tries to hit hit their feet, and defenders think, "Oh, I'm going to get in before." And if you're playing really tight to players like Newcastle were yesterday, then you nullify Jorginho a fair bit. Um, Mason Mount looks tired. I've already said he looks out on his feet. Uh, so if he's looking more sprightly than the others in training every day, then the others in training have got a bit of a problem. Um, Kante, I've already said, I think he done, I think he did, uh, did really, really well yesterday. Um, and um, William, I thought he had one of his worst games. Callum Hudson Adoy slipped back a gear yesterday. Um, Young lad, lots of bad decisions. He looks fitter. A um, couple of times he took players on, um, but makes the wrong decisions a lot of the time, like Mount does. But with young players, you are going to get this. Um, Tammy Abrahams um, has done great this season, but as I've already said, he's no Drogba, and um, he may well end up being world class but football's like anything else it's a learning process whether you're a teacher uh, a plumber or um, or a footballer it, it takes time it takes time to become top in your field top of your game um, and uh, when Ross Bartley came on he gave a little bit of impetus but you know, you know my thoughts on on Ross Barkley. Again, his his awareness is what lets him down at times. Definitely not the sort of class we've had in the past. You know, he's no Michael Ballack or Frank Lampard or even Dennis Wise. You know, Wise he gets. Uh, there's no Gus Poyer, you know, or or Mike Lessie. Um. So yeah, our big thing is is. We haven't got the sort of squad that we used to have. And the fact that we're fourth is amazing to me. I'm over the moon. I feel like taking an open top bus ride on my own from uh, from Chelsea Town Hall and going along Fulham Broadway. Full 
fourth with the squad that we've got with a manager only in his second year of management and still learning himself fourth now when we end up like that we I don't we may be we may not but I think everyone around us isn't any better so who knows what'll happen but we've got to keep supporting them um I saw some tweets yesterday that made me despair. Um, I may not get the word in right, but you know, with all the major injuries we get from, you know, with Callum Adson and Doy, Rhys James, and and um, Ruben Loftus Cheek being injured, it's amazing when you still got William running around. That was just so naff for a Chelsea. Supporter. I'm not going to name him. I put I put a thing on Twitter. I didn't name him because maybe it may be in his head he is a supporter, not in my book. And the bloke I was with last night he said I wish he'd just go to Spurs or Millwall. You know, with that attitude, it's not support. So we've got to stick behind this lot because I think they're exceeding expectations. Um. I saw a, a vlog yesterday from a bloke I respect saying, what do they do in training? Well, I've been to training. I've seen. They play at tempo. They don't play at tempo when they're, when they're on the pitch. And why is that? Well, it's a big difference between playing against your own players, even if they're trying to get in the side, than it is against a team that's playing in front of 50-odd thousand Geordies, spurring them on. To give every bit of sweat for the cause, it's a big difference. That's as simple as that. We need, we haven't got a hazard, we need to play at tempo. Bang, 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 bang. And if we play at tempo, we need to have players making runs off the ball, taking players with them. And that's not what's happening at the moment. So, bad day at the office. Another bad day at the office. Um, I hope Frank has, has learnt a bit every time we've been beaten, and Jody and the rest of the coaching team. And I hope that of yesterday, when he came and, and said he thought we played well, he was uh, just protecting the players. Too many passes backwards, too many players across the back. No tempo and no runs off the ball. And that's from a bloke who's only been on a UA for B course. OK. Sorry it couldn't be more upbeat. I hope to speak to you after the Arsenal game and giving it, giving it large. Anyway, have a good finish to your weekend. And let's support the team. Let's support Lampard. Let's support the players that are going through a bad time. Don't just go on social media and slag everyone and his mate off, apart from your favourites. Yesterday, it was a team effort being poor. That's the coaching staff, the team, the subs. The Midgey come on. Ooh, nothing. Um, let's support because right now they need it have a good end to your weekend up the Chelsea